Shalom, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, guys, very interesting information coming from Italy. Our good friend Lorenzo there with already hyphenhappen.com. And uh, he's published out a couple of different things that are happening there. This is two rows of what appears to be Abram tanks that have been loaded up on this Roro ship called the Patriot Ark. Uh, they have loaded all these this equipment on there that was loaded in Texas and that ship is now uh, in the Mediterranean Sea headed straight for the border of Israel uh, or possibly even Lebanon. Uh, it kind of lets us know that there's some very serious situation about to happen in the region there and it could be that while everyone is focused on Venezuela that the war with Iran could erupt at any given moment there. I want to share with you some other information too that Lorenzo put out. This here is a video footage here of a um, of a train carrying the Patriot battle battery missiles uh, towards North Carolina there uh, to the bases there, no doubt may be getting ready to be loaded on ships as well that could end up in uh, the Mediterranean over with Israel uh, working to protect Israel with a possible uh, strike on Iran in the very near future. Now we show you this military equipment being moved, we show you what's actually happening, but we want to back up some of this with some of the events that we're seeing uh, also uh, on the ground that is happening, things that kind of get your attention a little bit. On RT, they reported, this came out today, Russia-led free trade zone will soon include five more countries. Well, oddly enough, those countries are going to be Singapore, it's going to be uh, India, Israel, believe it or not, yeah, Israel, and of course, Iran. Now, don't, don't let that fool you when I say Iran, because you have to understand, even the Israeli government is mainly wanting to overthrow the current government of Iran and put in another government, much like what we see the United States and Israel trying to do with Venezuela right now, mainly the United States, trying to install their own uh, president in Venezuela so that everything can be setting up for this new world order. And I think it's kind of interesting, too, that right in the middle of the article, uh, we see the chessboard, we see the money under the chessboard, although it's another article, Russian-led Eurasian uh, Union notches up a major success in dumping dollar in favor of national currencies, right? But we see that we have on here, the trade bloc has also held negotiations with South Korea, Egypt, and India, but that trade zone is going to include China, Indonesia, Israel, as well as South American countries. 40 countries and international organizations, including these, are going to be part of a free trade deal with the EEU. That was that Eurasian thing that supposedly Russia started under Vladimir Putin. I told you guys a long time ago, it's a new world order, and they are definitely moving their chess pieces as that little subliminal message uh, clearly identifies on the board there to control the world economic regions, and it is getting going, fully vamping up. On top of that, we find that Venezuela's oil giant, uh, Pedavasa, moves joint ventures to bank accounts to the Russian Gazprom Bank. That's something that's just breaking out today as well, showing that they're definitely getting ready for this new world order. And, you know, I've said to you guys all along, so many people say, oh, Russia, he's a big, bad boogeyman, going to come out there and blow up Israel. Russia's not going to do any such of a sort. In fact, this is on the Al Monitor. Israel factor complicates but won't break Iran-Russian partnership in Syria. But as you go get into this article right here, you find out that Russia has a closer relationship with Israel than they do with Iran. Let me give you a little information. Head of the Iranian Parliament National Security and Foreign Policy Commission, uh, Hish, Hish Matola, uh, criticized Moscow, saying if the S-300 system in Syria operated correctly, the Israeli military would be unable to easily conduct airstrikes on Syria. He went on to speculate that there seems to be a coordination between the attacks and Russian-provided air defense deployed in Syria. What did I tell you guys about when Russia deployed the S-300 system? Russia intentionally 
downgraded the system. Russia intentionally gave them rockets that would only go 75 kilometers, allowing Israel to easily take out the S-300. I told you, I said Putin is working with Israel from the very beginning. Iranian public opinion, which has always been sensitive towards Tehran ties with Moscow, was further alarmed when Russian Deputy Foreign Ministry Sergei Ryobakov said on January 26 interview that Israel's security is a top priority for Russia and adding that he doesn't see Iran and Russia as allies in Syria. Told you. This is a new world order. And you know, friends, look, as much as I love my own country, I love Israel, I love my people there, I also see my people being duped into believing that everything is okay when a new world order system is moving so rapidly. The Sanhedrin will soon have full power. They will replace the United Nations. Noahide laws will be used across the world. You have no idea, guys, what's coming. None. And right now, the U.S. is moving our military there in position for a war there that's going to drag Iran involved in this. And will Russia end up coming to the aid? Not so much of the United States. But could Russia be a pawn here to help bring the United States down? That's some of the things that I was told on inside information about this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we already know this free trade zone, Israel's already working on one between Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Egypt. And of course, Saudi's Neom City. New world order everywhere you look. The day is coming, friends. You will not be able to buy or sell unless you take this mark. And this mark is going to include a Noahide law system. This mark will include, you cannot believe that Yeshua is not just the Son of God, but He is God manifested in the flesh. That'll be something to be taken away from you. Also, you know, Iran was touting how they were going to retaliate after Israel has already launched 2,000 rockets on their, uh, uh, their positions inside of Syria. Now they're talking about holding off on retaliating to the Israeli strikes because they're trying to rebuild their relationship with the European Union. No, Iran is afraid. Iran probably knows better that also the U.S. is moving massive military equipment, as I shared with you here from our friend Lorenzo, moving that massive military equipment there, getting ready for a war. And by the way, President Bashar al-Assad, he will be taken out. They're not going to allow Syria to be in power. And do you think Putin didn't know it all along? I'm sure he does. Sure he does. Not to mention all that military equipment to the right of your screen that you can barely see on, on your screen and behind you there. But there's even more military equipment that was loaded there. Well, that ship right there is now, thanks to our good friend Lorenzo there, that ship is sitting right there. Israel is sitting right here. It's definitely not seeming to be headed. It's already past Italy. Greece is right here. It could be headed to Turkey. Might go straight to Turkey because uh, going behind enemy lines, get ready to move up towards Iran. You think Erdogan is friends with Iran. We think that. Now, they'll try to minimize the war as much as possible because they don't want to really take out the Iranian people. Their desire is to take out the Iranian government and put in another puppet government, like in Venezuela. And yes, I know that the Khomeini of Iran is definitely, it's definitely a, a crooked government, wicked government. There's no doubt about that. I get the picture, believe me. The atrocities done to the women in Iran is definitely not the greatest thing in the world, by no means. But what business is it ours to go topple a nation? I guess maybe they don't have any Rothschild banks. Not part of the system. And they thought Russia was their ally too. Surprise, surprise, as Gomer Powell used to say. I'm Steve Benoon with Israeli News Live, Arif Talk.